Good morning. How about this? A fantastic day in California. I don't think it gets any better than this. And what what do we have here? This well, this is a Tech Talk Tuesday that's gonna get aired on Wednesday, and I've got the newest, hottest, freshest. Well, I, I mean, I'm pretty excited about it. Uh, bike to come out. Here we have the new Stump Jumper traditional length, so to say, or Stump Jumper, and Stump Jumper short travel. Now, what's that? We have two bikes. We have two different shock travel lengths. Uh, what, what are we talking about here? So well, we're gonna dive into all of it. I will link both of these bikes below so that you can dive in and read all the specs and you can even find, about, find out more about uh, version three, which is the Evo model. Uh, and that's a whole nother uh, beast of a bicycle. Two wheel sizes, 27.5, 29, my personal favorites. Both bikes are capable to be run with the 650 plus, 650B plus or 6 fatty wheel sizes. So we've got lots of versatility, we've got a lot to talk about. Let's dive in. As you know, I'm a huge, huge fan of my camber, right? I had a stump jumper prior to that. I wanted to go a little bit shorter travel. We have camber, we have stump jumper. They're kind of the same bike, but a little bit different. One's got more travel. If you're on the ladies side, you had women's camber, and then you had this Rhyme, which is a six fatty compatible, a little bit lady stump jumper. So there's a lot going on. We had proprietary this, proprietary that. So we want to simplify the entire thing. Now we have stump tra stump jumper, the 150, short travel, and the 120 platform. No more camber, no more rhyme. With that simplicity comes uh, more compatibility. This bike is still FSR. Uh, they have revised the pivot points. Uh, it has a four bar linkage type of a system, but everything is improved, redesigned, to give the rider more support. Uh, Classically, there has always been sort of a uh, second half of the suspension feel to be a little bit empty, uh, sort of break through quite quickly, and it didn't give that mid-stroke support that everybody was always wanting and uh, kind of lusting after. Back to the drawing board, these guys nailed it. Uh, uh, much more stability, much more uh, support to the rider, allowing you to charge harder, dive deeper, uh, shred more sweet stuff. So since we're on the topic of talking about shocks, another fantastic thing. So we've got metric sizing on both, allowing you to run your favorite shock, uh, whether it be Fox or Rock Shock, uh, both right up. No more shock butts, square ended. We have traditional eye to eye or eyelided shocks. Uh, both of these bikes also have the flip chip. Came from Enduro, giving the rider the ability to drop their BB and slacken their head angle slightly. I believe it's a few millimeters lower and a half degree more slack all capable via a chip in the, the shock yoke. Big old massive bearings in the suspension, pivot points, um, more stiffness to the rider, easier to service, all of that. Speaking of which, servicing this, all of the suspension points use one bearing size, except for the main pivot. That thing's just a big monster, beefy uh, bearing down there because it takes so much more load. All the mechanics out there, yeah! Speaking of mechanics, Let's also talk about simplicity, less noise, all of that. Threaded BBs, who else is fired up about that? So no more press fit 30, no more OSBB, no more, it just, it threads in. Throw some grease on it, you thread it in classic style. So since we're at the bottom of the bike, carrying on that theme, riders riding so much, maintenance free. However, you know, this one rings true to my heart. You still want to maintain your bike. You want to clean it properly. You want to service your suspension, lead your brakes, all of that. So stick to the regular routine maintenance, but we're trying to make the mechanics life easier. I'm, I'm fired up about that. But since the rider is now shredding harder, longer, riding way more, they need more storage. Revised SWAT door. This thing's super clean because there's no more bolt on extra attachment piece. The catch is built into the frame giving you 20% more storage here as well. Uh, super clean aesthetic. When you pull it off, it actually looks like it, it's not even really there. One of my favorite pieces, I can ride with my SWAT bibs, shove this full of tube pump, some blocks, some chews, some this, some that, maybe a jacket up top if it's a kind of a wet weather day. And with my bibs, I can ride three and a half, four hours, two big bottles, no trouble. It's the only way to go. 
you're out shredding more, you're riding harder, you're charging further, you're, you're just, it's going next level on all fronts. Uh, you don't want the bike to be wallowy. You've got suspension to back you up. You're gonna need the frame to support that as well. Now we've got this massive sidearm piece built in. We're tying in two key suspension mounting points. A lot of force goes in here. Previously on your bike, you'd be out shredding hard. You would get frame flex. As the suspension would compress, you could be getting upwards of 17 millimeters. That, that's almost a full inch of frame flex, right? That's undamped suspension squish. You're just giving it away. It uh, looks similar to a demo, serves a different purpose, but gives the frame a very robust, um, just stiff chassis, right? Front end, that's the first thing that you'll notice is that when you want to put it where you, where you want to put it, it has a support to go there, it stands up to you, it's going to hold its own. Um, when the wheel's going this way, the other wheel's trying to go this way, they straighten themselves out. This thing is super, super, super stable. It's confident, it's composed, it's well put together on the trail. Um, and I'm not just talking about how it's, how it's built, right? I mean, actually out riding, you can feel that it's there to support you and keep you shredding hard. We've had the luxury of riding these uh, in some, some wet, nasty conditions. Uh, insert awesome clips here. exactly what I'm talking about. This is definitely the trail rider's bike in whether it's long travel or short travel. Um, the bike is there for you. It allows you to push further, charge harder, um, and just have fun hooping and hollering in the woods with your friends. The long travel bike is going to give up a little bit on the climb, but it gains so much on the descending. Uh, a little bit more slack, a little bit more behind you, so to say. But then that bike is so lively, so just light action, poppy, super fun to ride. Um, I honestly don't know which one I like better. 
I think you should be able to look at where you're riding, your riding style. Do you, is it a 50-50 split? Do you know, do you mostly ride uh, where it's even up, even down? Do you want to put a little bit more preference on the descending? Do you want the thing to climb like a banshee? Um, I know I do. I'm just picturing myself at Downeyville trying to catch those leaders. Maybe this is the year, but um, I think that's going to be the, the weapon to do it. I generally feel like I can ride a smaller bike a little bit above its head. I like the way that it rides, the way it reacts, um, but I also like the big bike. So that also plays into another fantastic thing. This frame set and that frame set are the exact same. The only thing that changes on the frames is the shock and yoke and the fork lane. So if you ever happen to buy one and you're like, man, I really wish I had the other, it's an easy fix. Change the shock, change the yoke, change the fork air spring, boom. You go from short travel to long travel or the opposite way as well. God, I freaking love, I don't know, I love riding this thing. The last couple of days we've been out pedaling them around, having a lot of fun, uh, and it's been mind blowing how much more excited I've been about riding my mountain bike again because of this. It's just, just getting fired up. So hopefully you guys are as well. Um, yeah, I think that's gonna be it. I, I dove deeper into the tech corner, well, cause I'm a tech nerd at heart. I love this stuff. Um, and this bike has gotten me super fired up on riding. Let's go rip some trails. If you have questions, ask them below. I will try to answer them as best as possible. Build kits and all that are available at Specialized on their website, check it out. We've got the S-Works here, the Expert there. With that, hit me up, let me know. Let's go ride some mountain bikes. We will see you guys tomorrow. More action. That's gonna be it, over and out. Peace.